Hello my beautiful Hammerhead and welcome back to another video. So the Nova Open Preview, yeah well, uh, the models are wow, the show was meh apparently, uh, everywhere I looked it's just, it's terrible. I don't know what's happening right now. I was really hoping that Games Workshop would steer into the other direction again. I forgot my light. Um, <laughs> sorry. And just do the regular live streams again, where you can see the models and so on. But it's getting worse and worse. But okay, let's dive in. Let's look at the greatest things in models and roadmaps. So uh, this is the article. You can obviously find it on Warmer Community. Let's start with the spicy things, the Stormcast Eternals. Iridan the Witness? Holy damn, what is this? This is such a beautiful model. This is, oh, I don't know. I am one of the people who for months and months and months said that Age of Sigma, maybe years, for me personally now. I can't remember when I started saying this, that Age of Sigma models are just better and more creative than 40k and I kinda love and hate it at the same time that the 40k community is also getting into that direction and it is kinda sad. But just look at this. This, this is not only this, this is a dual kit. Iridan the Witness? Damn, what a beautiful model. And then you can have a Lord Vigilant on Morgriff. Holy damn, I love this so much. The new aesthetic for the Stormcast Eternals is beautiful. I don't know what to do with this. I'm pumped. But yeah, let's go further. New Lord Celestant, of course, which is kinda... Okay, it's a Lord Celestant, it's nothing special. We have seen better. That one is fine. The new Lord Relictor. This is the Chaplain model that 40k needs for Space Marines. I can already see many, many Space Marine players buying this model just to give a Crozius Arcanum and a Heavy Ball Pistol into the hands of this beautiful model and play it as a chaplain. Here you also have the Dark Angels version. It's already a given. This is so beautiful. And this as a Thunderhammer for Primaris Marines. Because Primaris Marines have wimpy hammers and this? Damn! <laughs> I'm sorry, let's go further. Lord Terminus, the one that was in the Skaventide box, also gets a single release, of course, with the beautiful, um, rec uh, not Reclusian, uh, Memorian. Beautiful. Really, really like this model. Also, two weapon options. Nice. Reclusians, of course, get a separate release. Also with weapon options. Also really, really nice. The Stormstrike Palados. So, remember, a couple of months back, half a year back, so and so, um, Games Workshop said, these models are going out of the window. Yes, and I said, it's sad, yes, but keep those models because you can still play them. Here are the Palados. Use the old ones if you still have them. I hope that you still have them. Because you have these now. Yes, there is a banner here, but you can just stick a banner on to the old ones as well. But I like these. There are beautiful models. I like the aesthetic of the new mounts. And Stormreach Portal. The Stormcast Eternals have a terrain piece now. It looks amazing. I really, really like it with the Azir symbol here. You can also switch the uh, regular Thunderstrike armor symbol of Sigma to the, um, not Vindication, um, uh, the, the, 
I forgot the name. I want to say the chapter, but that's also not right. Um, where the reclusians are. <laughs> All of them who are near death. Um, because this is the death symbol of Sigma. So I really, really like this. Also, of course, the battle tome and yeah, everything that we expect. To the roadmap, we're gonna go in a moment uh, because we already talked a lot about these models. Then Blood Bowl. Again, I'm not a Blood Bowl player, but as in my video yesterday, I forgot if I said that, but every Blood Bowl player I know has a heart of gold and so I'm really happy for every Blood Bowl player who gets new models. And these are the Chaos Dwarves and Hobgoblins. They are so fun. I really enjoy that Blood Bowl gets their Chaos Dwarves before Old World <laughs> and before Age of Sigma. You guys deserve it. I really love this. Also the Centaur versions. Damn, I don't know anything about the rules so I'm not gonna delve more into that. And if you know me, you know that I really, really like centaurs. And by the way, I like the knuckle dusters or whatever the name of this weapon was. But yeah, really, really great. I love Chaos Dwarfs. But this isn't the end because um, if, you're, uh, if you're watching my channel a little bit for a while now, you already know that I wanted to delve into the Middle Earth strategy game. Then the new edition was announced. Uh, because War of the Rohirrim, the teaser was enough for me to say, okay, I'm gonna dive back into it and we get more of it. We get Wolf. If you don't know Wolf, it is the son of Freka, who wants to marry the daughter of Helm Hammerhand. And uh, in the movie, they named her Hera. I, th I think it was Hera. But yeah, um, he... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not gonna say anything. It's just a beautiful model. I love the horse. The horse looks beefy. The horse looks like a really horse. Uh, I love the Perry aesthetics. Uh, the Perry brothers have beautiful Middle Earth models and there is nothing to say against those. There are some hit and misses with the faces, but that's fine because they are hand sculpted and everything. It is the charm. This is beautiful. I really, really love this model. I love the horse. I love Wolf uh, because not only the scar on the face and everything, the cloak, beautiful. So um, if you think this horse is too beefy, I hope that you will see a big beefy horse one day. One of my best friends has a horse and it is terrifying <laughs> just to stand beside that beast um, but yeah really really looking forward to what will happen with Rohan because I'm a Rohan fan so but roadmaps uh, also we can probably await the new edition this year so roadmap 40k this is <sighs> it is kind of disappointing if you are not well worst into uh, the rumor worse, then this is probably more enjoyable for you. For me, this was a little bit of a letdown because so far, we I don't care what was so far. We know what's been so far because we've been here. Uh, we watched everything still to come. Blood Angels and of the year. That's it. That's it for this year. But... I must say, before we get out the pitchforks and the torches, this is fine. Why do I say that? Because Age of Sigma released this year. And like with 40k release, the uh, 10th edition, this happened to Age of Sigma. This will also happen in two years when 40k is getting the 11th edition release to Age of Sigma. This is fine because they have to focus on something else for a moment. But Death Cop of Creek was in the rumor wars for a while. Eldari also, we're going to see a lot of Aspect Warriors, a lot of Phoenix Lords. Just don't, I hope you, I hope you can 
for GIF Games Workshop that there's probably not going to be a Karandras of the Striking Scorpions. Apparently there is not going to be one. This is just a rumor. Don't believe this. But apparently there is no Karandras. And Imperial Knights. Okay, plus more codexes. Come on, this is a given. Big names is going to be interesting. Special Chaos Trees is probably going to be Emperor's Children. So then Age of Sigma. Again, so far, I don't care. Still to come. Battle Tomes Galore, of course. Skaven Stormcasts, of course. Not really a surprise. Slaves to Darkness, nice. Really, really looking forward to that one. Um, and beyond uh, army boxes, of course, spearheads, of course. Oh, before I forget, uh, Death Corp of Creek is probably going to be the December release, the big box that's going to be every year, uh, that's happening every year. And this time it's going to be Death Corp, apparently. But yeah, uh, Death is going to be interesting. I kind of have the feeling that's going to be a new faction. I don't know why. This is just me spitballing here. I have heard nothing. Don't quote me on this. This is just a gut feeling that this is going to be something new. Because I'm still on the edge with Arkham the Black that he's coming back as a centaur model. And maybe this is just Oziak Bone Reapers and then we get a little bit more for them. Again, Arkham the Black as a centaur. Because if you don't know the narrative, um, that's fine, you don't have to know. Uh, Arkham was thrown from the edge of Hish, or Hayish, whatever you want to pronounce the name of the realm, by Altharion. And his mount Razarak, was it, I think, uh, flew after him, and since then he's missing. No one knows what happened to him, no one knows what happens when you fall over the edge of the realms. But yeah, this is just my theory, a game theory. <laughs> and yeah, Spearhead Destruction, Auroch Warclans, I hope that it's going to be um, Aurochs, uh, the Iron Jaws and new Gloom Spike Gits. But yeah, let's go further. Horus Heresy, still to come, more Mechanicus, other factions lurk waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I heard something about Raven Guard, but please don't quote me on this. And beyond, um, more tanks? Why? There are so many tanks. I don't play Horus Heresy or Legions Imperialis, but there is every time there is something. It's mostly tanks. Why is it always tanks? Where is the infantry? Um, but yeah, that's just me. Uh, probably a lot of more people, but I don't know. So let's go further with the old world and then we're reaching the end of this video. Still to come, Dwarven Mountain Holds take to the field to the battle once more. This is probably going to be Wave 2, like the Warriors of Chaos with Wave 2. That's fine, we already knew that. Then, 2025, Army Boxes, Heroes, Plastic Metal Resin. Okay, more factions, High Elves and Empire of Man. Empire of Man is going to be interesting for me because I want to know which models are coming back. Uh, some of them I really, really miss and I really hope that they're coming back. Um, as much as I'm selling right now, uh, also my old Warriors of Chaos models, because someone's going to buy them now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. But yeah, these are just my quick spitball thoughts on everything. If you have any other questions and thoughts, please leave them in the comments. I'm really keen to know what you have to say. And while you're here, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because hitting butts is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more wargaming and lore. Next week, Monday again, because this is the video which was supposed to come out tomorrow. But yeah, uh, so Friday, I mean by that. So this is the video that's should have been on Friday, but the next video was going to be on Monday. So now we have it. <laughs> oh, this is getting worse every time. But yeah, have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.